After days of trying and failing to get a response, PNC News approached Attorney General Alicia Limtianko last Friday during the signing of the Stalking Awareness Month proclamation. She told us that she has recused herself from any involvement in the various controversies surrounding developer Francis Gill. But she assured us that a response would be forthcoming to explain this odd letter written in September of last year to Senator Frank Blas Jr. by Assistant Attorney General Pat Mason. Mason's letter states that the Department of Public Works should be able to tell you when it will install a water and sewer system in the Gilbreeze subdivision, where residents have been without water for more than 10 years. Mason's letter concludes that the problem of installing water and sewer will fall on DPW. That was news to DPW Director Larry Perez, who'd never heard of such a thing, and CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez, both of whom recognized that the statements appeared to be in contradiction to Guam law, which bars a public agency from using government resources to make improvements on a private development. However, following the Attorney General's assurances of an explanation for why her office would commit a public agency to spending taxpayer funds to remedy a crisis created by a controversial developer, AG spokesman Eric Palacios emailed PNC News the following. The statements in the letter addressed to Senator Frank Blas Jr. last September relative to the Department of Public Works having to be the agency that would follow through with the construction or installation of a water and sewer system for the Gilbreeze subdivision were based on a belief that the proceeds of a construction performance bond were available for that project, which were subsequently not. What project? What construction performance bond? Were government funds going to be made available to bail out Francis Gill? And why was Mason promising that a public agency was ready to resolve this 10-year-old problem at public expense in apparent violation of Guam law? CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez was curious to know, and so was Larry Perez at DPW. But so far, Guam's Attorney General has not answered. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.